I can tell you a big fib and guarantee that it never rains on Hatteras Island. But then I'd have to ignore this footage taken at a somewhat typical day at the docks celebration. The truth is, this is hurricane season, and this is an island community. Rain happens. Yes, yes, the Hatteras Islanders are very tough. They don't shy away from a little rainstorm. It is the anniversary of Hurricane Isabel. This festival will always be the same Saturday every year in September. Isabel literally tore the island in half geographically. A new inlet was formed, a lifeline road destroyed, but heroes were made, the watermen. We were isolated, terrible destruction. For two months, we were, uh, there was no road here. And the village was completely cut off from everywhere else. There was no industry coming in, no economy, no tourists, no food trucks either, no delivery of the grocery stores. The first industry that could get back to working was commercial fishing. So they were able to actually backhaul things from the other part of the island, groceries, ice, other supplies that people needed. So this gathering is a commemoration that is quite unlike any other street festival in North Carolina. Captain Ernie remembers brainstorming the event with his wife back in 2004. We looked at a couple of seafood festivals which seemed to be more about cotton candy and ferris wheels than they did about working watermen. And we tried to come up with an idea in which we would focus on those people that make their living on the water. The watermen. While you won't find cotton candy or ferris wheels here, you will find plenty of interest. Several activities keep everyone entertained, like the kids' fishing contest and the adult contest with a concrete marlin. Fishermen, weightlifters, and others haul in concrete blocks meant to simulate what it's like to land a real marlin. There are vendors who share in the water theme. And finally, there's seafood at every hour of the day. I am the foods and nutrition teacher at Cape Hatteras Secondary School in Buxton, North Carolina. And I am here with my students to um, showcase and prepare local seafood. Have a taste. Tell me what you think of it then. It's really good. good. What is it? Water salad. There's an entire venue dedicated to cooking demonstrations. The seafood tent always has something good going on, but the highlight is the seafood throwdown. Local chefs are presented a list of parameters, sometimes even mystery ingredients. Then they prepare them with live audiences watching on. Go. One final but very important aspect of the day at the docks to consider is the two-way educational benefit here. This festival is unique in that not only does the general public gain knowledge about where its seafood comes from and how it is caught and prepared, much of the knowledge transfer here is to the benefit of the watermen themselves. Top chefs and seafood industry experts are motivated to meet and make positive impact with the fishermen here. I enjoy working with the people that are actually harvesting our seafood and trying to help them become smarter business operators. If I've helped in some way to help them get a little clarity on a subject, that means I must be doing something right. Day at the Docks, a community heritage celebration is this weekend, September 15th and 16th in Hatteras. There's music, food, dock tours, and boat rides both days. For more information, go to hatterasonmymind.com.